welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack, Kraken, addiction. We've got a really exciting opening here. We've got a little letter from our great patron of the channel. This is from Jim. Um, it should explain what's going on here, but Jim has sent us uh, what I think you guys will find to be an incredible goodie bag. He's uh, kind of previewed what some of it might be um, for us here. Sorry if that's breaking your ears off camera. There we go. Undo the scroll here. Um, <laughs> you can see the meme here on the bottom. I am never going to financially recover from this. Classic magic player. Um, I'll read it off the camera just because it's uh, a little easier to pull up here as it's rolling up here. It says, uh, Pat, Brett, and Booster Therapy family, thanks for giving me the opportunity to do this little vintage chaos opening. I really hope everyone enjoys seeing some older packs being cracked. Uh, the chaos packs inside the blue mystery bag. Um, so we have the chaos packs here for Jim inside the blue mystery bag, it looks like. Uh, make sure you don't peek. I want it to be a surprise for everyone. Um, one pack is meant to be open last, um, but you'll know when you pull it. So I'm guessing there is a very spicy pack in there. Uh, I also included some packs for giveaways for this video and future videos. Uh, do with them what you want. Open them. Give them away. Um, give them away one at a time. It's up to you. Finally, thanks for being the best pack cracking channel on YouTube. I look forward to watching this video every morning. Uh, you guys have a great community, and I think you should be really proud of what you have built. Thanks again. Jim, it's free real estate. Absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, just uh, had Jim pop over uh, just the other day and uh, drop off this goodie bag. So he said, reach into here blindly, and uh, we'll see what we pull. So we are going to start off with... <laughs> <laughs> I don't, am, am I supposed to know which one is going to be like the open last? I'm like hesitant now. Like Zendikar is crazy expensive. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to be in for a real treat here. So I'm just going to grab another one because, uh, oh, wait, I feel kind of a fat one in there. Maybe it's not. Oh, I feel bad if this is the last one. We said it's old stuff in here. So <laughs> I'm just going to crack it. Sorry, Jim, if I'm in the wrong order here. Uh, we've got original, I can't even believe this, original Zendikar. So... Man, I almost just want to look and appreciate the pack itself. This is crazy. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it here. See if this baby wants to open. Ooh, it's tough. Tough seal. Let's see if we can get it here. Uh, ripping at it off camera. Jeez. They packed the old... There we go. They packed the old Zendikar is tight. Um, man. And I have not gotten a chance to preview um, what a lot of these will have in here as well in the order of the packs and so on but let's uh let's look through them here see what we can get let's make sure our camera stays focused man can we hit an old school maybe a foil fetch land that would be insane and i'll apologize in advance if i miss any obvious big cards i won't profess to be an expert on all of these got an old school trap we got a trailblazer's boots quest for pure flame Ooh, and a predatory urge very sweet. And any foil back there? We got an old school mountain and the rules and tips and quests and all sorts of fun things. Enchant creature. Uh, let's see here. The tap this. This creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature. That creature deals damage equal to its power to this creature. So it's kind of a fight mechanic there. And I'll be sending all of these back, whether it's in person or uh, via mail, to Jim. So I feel like there's something... Yeah, there's like a secret fat pack sitting in there, so we'll have to come back to that. Oh, sweet. Old school invasion. Uh, Brett and I definitely played this back in the day at one point. And we'll go through these kind of slow because I do not know necessarily what's worth what. So you guys will just have to know as we go through and as we're editing this as well. Ooh, irrigation ditch. That's really sweet. That's actually... I don't know. Pretty useful card. Holy Day. Wings of Hope. Shiv and Harvest. Alright, we've got a Wayfaring Giant. Fires of Yabamaya. We've seen this one before. And Baron's Spite. I don't know if I'm familiar with this one. Choose two target creatures controlled by one player. That player chooses and sacrifices one of them. Return the other to its owner's hand. 
and nothing else behind there. So that is going to be your sweet rare there. Let's uh, dig in for another one here. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> Tempest. Sweet. Oh, man, that's exciting. All right, just had to charge up the camera there. Sorry, I apologize for that. Oh, man, look at this. Just 25 bucks. That's it. It's practically free. I'm going to try and open this carefully. I suspect it has something amazing in it. Man, these are tougher to open. You have no pull tabs, and they really don't open super easily. I'm not an expert with the old school packs. There we go. Um, but there's a lot of really good stuff in here. I think Intuition, I want to say, is the big bomb that you can get out of this. Um, and you've got uh, Scroll Rack is in here. Ancient Tomb um, sits in the uncommon spot. I'm going to do a little smell check. Ooh, Tranquility. Man, there's a lot of sweet cards in here. Old Mannequin. So I believe the uncommons and rares are in the back. I hope I'm not incorrect on that. Come on. All right, so we should be getting close here. Let's see. Yep, I think we're about there. I think this should be an uncommon. <laughs> oh, Essence Bottle. Ooh, Altar of Dementia. Sweet. Old school Altar of Dementia. That's pretty cool. I didn't actually know that was in this set. And Orm's Prayer. If any creatures attack you, you gain one life for each attacking creature. That seems unreasonably good. <laughs> that seems pretty sweet. Uh, don't know what it's worth, to be perfectly honest with you. It seems like a pretty cool card. Um, I don't think it's a massive hit by any means, but um, very, very cool. Uh, let's dig in here and see what else we can find. You might be shouting at me in the in the comments. Oh, my God. Jim, this is outrageous. We've got an Exodus pack up next. Let's get a little good luck going here. All right, let's jump right into it here. Um, I did actually manage to pause here just for a moment just to check off camera. Um, I was mistaken. Actually, Alter Dementia is the rare. Um, and actually a, a fairly decent rare, of course. All right. Uh, don't know the order on this, so we might be in for a surprise. <laughs> oh, man. I love and miss the shadow cards out of this. Shadow is such a cool ability. And there are a few uncommons that we're going to be looking for in here as well. I believe Reconnaissance is up there. Um, here we go. We're already the uncommon. So let's uh, let's move these around off camera here. Yeah, we're just going to take our time on this video because, man, this is sweet. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, nice. There's a Reconnaissance. Um, the massive hits here that we're looking for, Survival of the Fittest, uh, City of Traitors, uh, Mind Over Matter, Recurring Nightmare, Hatred, there's a number of them. I'm wondering if the rare is going to be right here. Come on, baby, be there. Oh, <laughs> it's the Plague Bearer. Uh, I don't know how good he is, but he seems pretty cool. Destroy target non-black creature with total casting cost equal to X. <laughs> I don't know, he's pretty evil looking, so I like him. And let's see if we get anything else kind of cool back here. Cinder Crawler. Culling of the Week. Pretty sweet. Elvish Berserker. And Theft of Dreams. Ooh, that was a sweet pack. All right, let's dig in here, see what we get. Oh, man. These can have some massive, massive foils in them. Like crazy big foils. Um, the regular cards themselves, I think, are, are okay, but the foils are huge. Yeah, so we'll see how we do here. <laughs> oh, man. It is really, the foil is what you want to hit out of these. I'll have to do another, um, another smell check on these packs just to make sure that they're genuine. I'll just, I'm just being a little overly cautious on these just since they're... A little bit older and a little bit more delicate, some of these, as we open them. So, bear with me. We're going to take our time on opening these up, just since they're, well, number one, they're not my cards. And uh, they're, like I said, these packs are quite a bit more expensive. 
than some of the stuff we traditionally open on here. Oh man. So a little, uh, little bend to these guys, as you can see, kind of old school cards, but that's how it goes. Oh man, giant spider. Just an old staple. And the mind rot. Got a razor foot griffin. Just hanging out, hanging out in the garden. Flight, grizzly bears, duress. Telepathy, that's a cool card. Sky diamond. A mountain. And the trained org. And we have a foil. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. That is sweet. A foil blaze. That is awesome. Uh, I don't know if blaze is worth anything, but man, that's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous hit. Man. I mean, all the foils out of these are pretty sweet. It's got a little bit of a bend to it, but not bad. But man, just the odds of hitting a foil um, are super low in these because they did not have the crazy um, foil rates that they do today. Just massive foil rates. Ooh, old school Ravnica, City of Guilds. Sweet. Let's wish this one some good luck. Lots of sweet stuff out of this. Um, we know you've got the old school shock lands, of course, but you also have doubling season, dark confidant. Um, what is it? Cloudstone curio. I want to say is in this. Um, so a lot of sweet stuff. Smell check. Yep. They smell like just gorgeous, beautiful old cards. Don't know if there's any commons worth anything or not in here, but like I said, Jim will be getting all the cards back. So again, give some love to Jim for this awesome opening. Just incredible. Forest Swift Blade. Ooh, this is an uncommon. Nice. This is a very useful card. I actually used this in my Earl deck. And <laughs> look at this. The Gleam Crawler. An insect horror. Just a sweet card. No foil behind there. Yeah, I love this hybrid mana. Super cool. All right, let's see what we got next. Oh man, we're going back to Invasion. We're going back, baby. So still lots of sweet stuff in here. Um, I believe Phyrexian Altar is probably going to be your best hit out of here. There's a number of good uncommons, though, too. You have Sterling Grove and uh, Aura Shards came out of this set. Oh, and the Kavus. All right, quick smell check. Sorry, guys. Yep, confirmed. Old school, beautiful cards. Look at these Kavus. So sweet. Man, I used to open these and didn't appreciate them enough at the time. These cards are just so incredible. Shiv and Zombie. Ooh, Bloodstone Cameo. Come on, baby. Disrupt. It's a sweet card. And stand or fall. Don't know where this one stands or falls, but I like it. Awesome. All right, Jim, what else do you have in store for us here? Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, we're going back. We're going back a long ways. I'm, I can feel the dust on this. It's so old. Corset 2010. That is sweet. Man, I remember playing good old Corset 2010. As you guys know, I am a sucker for the core sets. I absolutely love them. Uh, I think you got Lightning Bolt in here. Of course, Line of War. Doom Blade. Man, what a sweet set. Um, I want to say there's a couple of good uncommons in here as well. I think Fabricate might be in here. Flail. Wall of Bone. And Nightmare. One of my favorite cards. I'm not going to lie to you here. We could have a foil back here too. I might be wrong. All right. Island. And do you get anything else? Oh, a zombie token. And, ooh, we got a sweet old foil rare. It's been reprinted, but this is old, man. Honor the pure foil rare. Sweet. What a hit. All right. We're getting down there. I feel that big fat one still sitting in there. Oh, I bought one of these for Brett. 
and uh, I did get him a Ristic Study out of here. Or I should say, he got himself a Ristic Study. Um, I think there's a couple other cards in here that are pretty good. Hopefully I'll know them when we see them. But Ristic Study is definitely what you want to hit. They're just super fun to open. Um, if the boxes weren't so pricey, I would love um, to just open a full box of them just to see what we can hit. Oh, it's, it's, it's Ristic, but it's Ristic Scrying. It might go out of order here. That's okay. So I'm guessing we have Uncommon, Uncommon, Rare. Sword Dancer? Well of Life. We're looking for that Ristic Study anyways. <laughs> we have the Mungo Worm. Uh, you can't untap more than one land during your untap step. Probably not a card I'd want to play. All right. Let's see if we can get that Ristic. Come on, baby. Rive. Show me some white right here. Oh, come on. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, it's Ristic Shield. Oh, come on. Oh, it's not there. Uh, don't know if anything else was uh, worth any anything out of that. I don't think so. I think it's pretty much Ristic Study um, or Bust. And oh, my. <laughs> All right, we've got Visions here. Let's brace ourselves. All right, so I think, man, I think out of this, it is Vampiric Tutor is still on the top end. I think there's Tithe. Um, I don't recall the other ones. I might know when I see them. And I think the order on these is Uncommons on the top. Checking for super glue here. Uncommons on the top, followed by the rare. So let's uh, let's take a look. Got the spider climb. Ooh, vision charm. That seems kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth anything or not. Knight of Valor. And oh, we have the Death Watch. That might be that might be our rare. I don't know for sure, as I can't tell with these. We'll see. We have a Song of Blood. Let's uh, put that as the rare because I think it probably is. Dark Privilege. Man, Righteous Aura, that's sweet. Undo. Turn two character creatures to their owner's hand for three. Sorcery speed. Phyrexian Walker. This is zero, three for zero. Wand of Denial. The Creeping Mold. Longbow Archer. And the Iron Heart Chimera. So I think Death Watch is your, um, is your rare, but I, I don't actually know. So we'll check all the prices. Uh, we're getting down there. What else do we have in here? Oh, <laughs> Urza's Legacy. Jim, come on, Jim. Man, Urza's Legacy. I think this was the first and obviously oldest set to uh, bring in the premium foils. Man, Grim Monolith is in here. I think it would be fate if I hit a Grim Monolith. That would be just amazing. Don't know the order of these either. Oh, please let there be a foil Grim Monolith in here. That would be just incredible. Um, but I think it's pretty top heavy here. Oh, Viashino Sand Scout. Do love that card. Come on, baby. Let there be a Grim Monolith in here. All right, we're getting closer. Got a sponge. Oh, an engineered plague. Come on, baby. Bone Shredder. Come on. Oh, we have Second Chance. Second Chance. And I don't think there's anything behind there. During your upkeep, if you have five or less life, sacrifice Second Chance and take an extra turn after this one. It's actually a pretty cool card. Um, I don't really remember that card all that well. Um, I don't know, again, if that's necessarily worth anything or not, but we'll see. All right, we got another Invasion. And then I think the special pack will be in here. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. I know it's a little bit of a longer video, but I think it's definitely worth it. And Jim, just going wild here with these packs. And I can't wait to see what that last one is. It's going to be something incredible, I assume. Man. Oh, another smell check. Just give me a moment here. I need to do a little, a little smelling.
Yep, they just there's just something about it. I know if you might think I'm crazy here if you haven't played older Magic, the smell of these cards is just unlike anything else. Is that a weird cut there? Wallop. And yeah, mommy, yes. Yeah, that's oh, a spicy what a hit. Phyrexian altar. Oh, that is beautiful. What a nice hit. Ooh, and a savage offensive. Man, that is sweet. That is the old, awesome, awesome artwork. Oh, that's a nice hit. Well done. All right, I think there's just one special pack left here. Open me last with a beautiful Booster Therapy Lotus on there. All right, let's see what we got in here. Man, I mean, if we had Urza's Legacy in here, what the heck is going to be in here? Let's see, it's tightly wrapped up. Let's see if we can... Ooh, baby, what do we have here? <laughs> oh my god. We have triple Urza Saga. Oh man. Holy hell. Oh, I'm sorry, there's more packs in here. We'll open them last, but it's been revealed. <laughs> He's got more. It never ends, folks. All right, well, we know the saga's coming last. Oh, man, you guys won't be able to believe it. Wow. And we've got alliances. All right, let's get this ready. I am super excited. Now I know it's coming. Oh, this is crazy. Well, we'll wait on those saga lands. Um, I believe out of alliances, um, Force of Will is still going to be your best hit, but I think Lake of the Dead... Is it Helm of Obedience? Um, and I don't know the order of these, so I apologize in advance. Hopefully we'll be able to figure it out here. Man, these are old. Yep, there's that smell. Feast or Famine, that seems sweet. Astrolab, old school. <laughs> Look at these sweet old guards. Limdull's High Guard. Taste of Paradise. Gorilla Chieftain. I remember that card. That is an oldie but goodie. The Gorilla Chieftain. And Arcane Denial. That's sweet. And Gorilla Tactics. I literally couldn't even tell you what the rare was. Is it Gorilla Tactics? May have opened it earlier. I'm just trying to look off camera here to see if I can figure out what it was. Well, you'll let me know in the comments. I'll edit it and we'll figure it out. Well, we still got a couple more in here yet before we get to our Urza saga, which I can't even believe. Ooh, we have Chronicles. Wow. So again, I don't know the order on this offhand, but I do know, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is where Concordant Crossroads came from, which is a really sweet card. And it's definitely not cheap. I think it's 30, 40 bucks for that card in the rare slot. There might be even a couple of um, commons in here as well. Man, that's so sweet. So I couldn't even tell you what the rare is here other than, let's refocus the camera there, Rabid Wombat. <laughs> we got Land's Edge. We got a Puppet Master. Um, I think Ashnod's Altar is in here too. There's from the Dark. At Warriors, Remove Soul. Oh, Ashnod's uh, Transmogrant. Um, City of Brass, I think, is in here as well, and Blood Moon. So that would be cool to hit. Keepers of the Faith. Boomerang. Wall of Shadows. Emerald Dragonfly. Oh, <laughs> and the witches are coming out of the woodwork. Are the witches the rare? I don't know. I'm going to put it in the rare slot. Apologize, folks. I don't know offhand. And I think we're actually at the last pla uh, pack here before we get into... Oh, yes, and it's Onslaught. Onslaught is sweet. We've got Old School Onslaught, one of my favorite sets all time. Uh, we are looking for fetch lands, handful of other things, but fetch lands. And if we can get lucky enough to get a foil fetch land, that would be incredible. Got another... Another sniff check to verify the authenticity. A couple of uncommons out of here that I think are actually pretty decent. 
See if we can hit those. Mist Worm Stalker. Righteous Cause. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, and Mythic Proportions. I remember this card. And we might have something behind there. What do we have? Ooh, Symbiotic Elf in the foil slot in the back. So we have Mythic Proportions plus 8 plus 8 and has Trample for an Enchant Creature. And this is actually a pretty cool card. Uh, when I return to the graveyard and play, put two 1-1 one, one green insect tokens into play. Oh man, I can't even believe this for uh, Urza's Saga. Let's do this. Let's open up and see. We're not going to open the packs right now. But let's see what Jim included in here for um, future giveaways. And then we'll wrap it up with uh, Urza's Saga. Triple pack of Urza's Saga. So let's see what uh, Jim has in store here. I can't believe this. This is incredible. All right, we've got cons. Ooh, Iconic Masters, very exciting. Masters 25. Double Masters. Oh, I see a nice little theme going here. Modern Masters 2017 and Eternal Masters. That is extraordinarily generous. Um, we'll put those off to the side. We'll give those away um, in some future videos here. But let's, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, let's open Urza's Saga. <laughs> Man, here we go. So, uh, Gaia's Cradle and uh, Gilded Drake. You got Yogmoth's Will. You got a number of awesome things. I'm trying to open this nice and gently here. Um, I don't know the order, but I believe they are filled in accordingly. So, you got your uncommons here. So, I'm going to actually guess it's going to be one, two, three. Right, and then the rare here, I think. I believe that's correct. I want to say that's right. So we'll know the rare is going to be sitting right there. Well, we're going to, ooh, nice. We're going to start with a really good uncommon, or excuse me, common. Priest of Titania. So we're going to look through our um, commons here as well. I think there might be a couple of things worth something. Ooh, Rune of Protection Green. Not circle, but rune of protection. We'll just kind of look through them for just old time's sake. Cycle lands. Yep, a couple different cycle lands there. Um, and oh my goodness, I can't even believe this. Here we go. So, let's take a look at our uncommons here. We have Humble. It's our first one. Destructive Urge. Crosswinds. We'll try and do a little... Little peek here. It looks like it's black. Oh, oh mummy, yeah, that's a spicy oh, nice meatball. Hit. That is a monstrous hit. Yogmoth's will, absolute monster. I'm just gonna set that down so I don't manage to damage it. Wowza, that's a nice hit. Oh, we can improve though. Holy crap! <laughs> I can't even believe I'm opening these. Jim, absolutely incredible hit. Uh, we'll put that off up here to the side kind of by itself. I'm going to make sure to get that extra protected. Oh man. Well, that is a fantastic hit. Let's uh let's jump into the next one. This feels so weird opening these. I just humbled and honored that you've given us the opportunity to open some of these. I mean, we get to open a lot of stuff, don't get me wrong, but um old stuff like this is for obvious reasons, hard to come by because as as you well know, it is uh, it is quite expensive uh, to open these up. All right, so you got a telepathy in the uncommon slot right away. One, two. Let's just do this. One, two, three. And here's your guy's cradle. Put it right there, nice and safe. All right, we got an early curfew. Goblin matron. That's nice. It might be worth something still. Sicken. Wild dogs. Oh, I loved this card when I used to play with it all the time. The Skittering Scourge. Catalog. Hush. Destroy all enchantments. Path of Peace and Reflexes. Oh, man. I am very excited here. Let's make sure we don't reveal anything here. <laughs> like Telepathy. All right. We got a Pit Trap. And I won't know that some of these uncommons offhand if they're worth something. Unless it's obvious. Scourge Familiar. Oh man, I also wouldn't mind seeing Blue, uh, Time Spiral, Telerian Academy, Exploration, Phyrexian, uh, Phyrexian Tower, Sneak Attack, Gilded Drake. 
So many good options. Come on, be a Gilded Drake. Oh, it's the Great Whale. This was one of my absolute favorite cards as a kid. Seven mana, you get a big old 5-5 five, five Whale, and you get to untap seven lands. Oh, that's another sweet card. Absolutely love it. All right. Uh, don't know where that stands as far as price. It might be toward the lower end, but it holds a special place in my heart. Man, that's sweet. Okay, well, we're on to the last one here. I'm, like, sad to open this. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make some magic happen here. No pun intended. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just being extra careful. And actually checking these as well, just to make sure. There we go. A nice clean rip here. Oh, and you got a nice, uh, nice uncommon right off the bat with Victimize. So let's, uh... Do the little surprise here again. One, two, three, and hopefully your guy is Cradle right there. And we'll check out the Goblin Raider, Unworthy Dead. We got some Owls, A Veiled Serpent, Venomous Fangs, more of these Cycle Lands here. Blood Vessel, Goblin Patrol, ooh, and Pestilence. I do like that card. All right. Let's get these all nice and in order here. We have a Victimize, which is great. Ooh, Veiled Apparition. Creepy. Lingering Mirage. And oh baby, here we go. Let it be there. Ooh, Argothian Enchantress. That's pretty cool. That's uh, not a bad card. I mean, it's not a monster hit, but it's a very good card. But man, you got a Yogwell. Um, I mean, it wasn't a guy's cradle, but you got probably the, I don't know, third best card you can get out of here for random booster packs. Um, this was unbelievably fun. Um, apologize for any stumbling through here. I have not opened vintage stuff since, well, since I opened it as a kid. So it is an absolute honor and a privilege and a pleasure to be able to open that. So thank you so much to Jim for hooking it up. Absolutely incredible. Um, we'll do some giveaways with those packs on behalf of Jim as well in the very near future here. Um, man, I am glad we got uh, got a little Yogmoth action. That is super amazing. Yogmoth's will. <laughs> we will take it, my friends. That is all I have for now. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. This has been Patrick with Booster Therapy. Thanks from us here. Thank you to Jim. You all have a fantastic rest of your day.